I'm actually using my uh, phone app to start recording the video, which is kind of really cool. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is I've, I've actually had this all this time and I never really used it. Every time I would get up and go and press the record button and see the lamp come on, then come and sit down and, uh, uh, and I was like, uh, wait a minute, I have this app, uh, you know, Sony app on my phone that I can actually, you know, start recording and stop recording from here and I've never used it and I really don't know why. Anyway, as in this video, I was just like, you know, I was uh, trying to uh, answer a question that a friend of mine asked me and I thought that, uh, oh, you know what, why don't I just make a video and then let him watch the video and that way I have an excuse to make a video and put it on, I mean, put it on my YouTube channel. I'm trying to learn DaVinci Resolve, which is the software that I'm using right now. So I had this, a friend asked me this question, like how do I do, you know, what, what do I do and uh, stuff like that. And I, um, uh, I was trying to explain to him about you know, how you select clips and put it into the timeline. And um, uh, what happens is, if you uh, are familiar with DaVinci or you're familiar with how video editing goes, uh, there's a different way of how you actually would want to do your videos. Like how would you like to make your videos? There's a process and everybody has a different process. Let's say I'm shooting uh, my, my video right now and I'm using my Sony ZV-1. That's right, I'm still with my Sony ZV-1. It's such a cool camera. And uh, once, you f once I finish uh, shooting, then what I would do is I would have to transfer that footage to my computer. To my, uh, to my computer hard drive. And then from there, I would fly it into uh, DaVinci uh, Resolve, the, the software, right? Now, there are different ways of doing it. Like if, if you're looking at a, a video like this, where I'm just talking to the camera and trying to explain something, you know, something very simple, there's not too much editing going on because it's just me and the camera and I'm just talking to you. But if I was doing something where I have so many clips, like I recently made a video and I put it on my other channel and, um, and what happened is it, there were like all these little like 60 seconds and, and you know, like or two minute, three minute type of clips that I shot and I want to put the best of it into that video, like a montage type of thing with a, with a nice music background, you know. Uh, when, you're, when you're in the editing process, you're trying to go through all the clips and you try to pick the best parts so that way you could use it in your video, in your final video. And uh, so what I would do is I would select a clip but I would select a certain part of a clip, like the starting point, and then a certain part of, like, at an ending point. Like, I will not take the whole clip, obviously. That's what editing is. Like, you choose the, you really start getting very picky, and you start choosing where you want it to start, where you want it to end. And you only take that selection into the timeline. DaVinci Resolve, uh, it's known as I and O. That means in and out points. So for the keyboard, and I have a mechanical keyboard uh, right over here. So it will be in for where I have that spot where I would choose and then I would play till where I finish and then I'll put out and then I will bring that video uh, that part into the timeline because that's what I'm selecting to be in my video well not yet but I'm doing my first pass then later on I will go in and I'll fine-tune it very very carefully so that way everything fits together and there's a nice flow it matches the music it matches the story that I'm trying to tell uh, yeah, you know, th those are little, little things about how you actually make a video. That's, that means when you're watching a video, it feels nice. You really like what you're watching, and it's just because of that. So now I'm left-handed. So, I mean, I can use right hand too, but, I'm, but I'm, uh, I write with my left hand. So on the keyboard, the I-O is on this side of the keyboard. So that means when I'm working and, and my setup is very simple, I have my computer over here. I have my uh, mechanical keyboard over here right over here. Then I have my uh, MX, uh, MX3 uh, mouse. I love this thing. It's, you know, I love it. I have a video on it, by the way, on my channel. And then I also have a Wacom tablet. So I have a, a Wacom tablet. And then I, I uh, you know, I, this is how I use it, but I'm left-handed. So what I did was instead of doing I-O on this side, I reprogrammed that using keyboard shortcuts to this side of the keyboard. So I use, w, I, mean, uh, I use Q for in, W for out, and here is the best thing. And this is a problem that I always face in DaVinci is whenever you're trying to bring in a selection, uh, when I try to paste it, it'll paste exactly where the playhead is. And, um, and it'll end up 
disturbing what I was working on because my playhead could be somewhere and I would forget and it happened so many times and I told myself oh my god what am I doing this is you know uh, I want to be able to do this intuitively I, I want to be it, it, like a natural process every time I'm putting a clip it's deleting another clip and I was like then I was watching Casey Ferris who is one of my favorite youtubers who teaches Da Vinci stuff Casey if you're watching this thank you brother and he was like, a pen to end, a pen to end. Uh, and I was like, what? So I tried it out. I know it sounds so silly, actually, like after all this time. And I'm like, so a pen to end means the footage that you select will go to the end of the timeline, no matter what. So you don't disturb anything that you've been working on all this time. I said, can, can I have a shortcut on that? So I looked at it and I said, oh, yeah, I can. So I assigned E to be a pen to end. So now when I select a clip, what I do is I will go to Q to start. Uh, then I play a little bit to where I want it and it will be W. Then I immediately hit E and that video clip will fly straight into my timeline towards the end. It will not disturb anything that I'm working on. Uh, it will not override any video, which is one of, the, one of the issues that I was having is I would leave my playhead somewhere and then it will just override something and I would, I would forget what that video was because I have so many little, little clips to work with, right? Uh, now remember, I'm new at this, so I'm still learning, so I'm sure it's going to be better. But, but the, 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 the cool thing is, it saves so much time. I just do one fly, one pass over, and then I will just append to end, append to end all the clips towards the end. That means I know those are the stuff that I like. And then I would go to the end of the timeline, and then I will go and I will start picking the ones that I want. And I will color code it. So that way when you look at the timeline, like when I give myself the, you know, the, the sky view of the whole timeline, anything that is color coded, I know that I like those clips and I want that to be in my movie, in my final output. So it's, it's just like a, one of those things. So like I'm just answering somebody's, a friend was asking me this. So I'm just answering, is that what I do? Is I reprogram. And that's one of the cool things that you also must understand that as a YouTuber, or as a video editor and stuff like that, everybody's process of how you actually make videos is very different. So instead of me using I.O., which is what is pre-programmed with the software when you download uh, DaVinci from online, uh, that's what it is. But I went and put it on this side, so it's Q.W.E., you know, on, on this side of the keyboard, is because I'm left-handed, so when I'm working, you know, when I'm working, with using my stylus, I can just immediately, you know, just jump with my finger and just do a pen to end, a pen to end, or you know, in out, a pen to end, all kinds of stuff. So it it is it is just so cool. It, it, it I mean, this is such a game changer for me. And I do want to say again, thank you to Casey for uh, for mentioning it in one of his videos. And I, I've I've seen that video of, of his a few dozen times actually, but it just never registered in my head like what was going on with that a pen to end, like what did it mean. Till one time I really tuned in and I, and I rewinded back and I'm like, what does that mean? So I tried it and I was like, oh my God, that is so cool. Such a small little thing, a pen to end, where you take the clip onto your timeline and then when you're done with all the, the first clips, then you go in and you fine tune each clip uh, and then you fly them into, you know, like you arrange it into your timeline to make your actual movie. So. Anyway, I just wanted to have an excuse to make a video, to be honest with you, and say a special thanks to Casey uh, for, uh, for that little thing. So thank you very much, guys, and I hope you will be making stories. And if you do, leave me a link. I would like to watch your story. Thanks. Bye-bye.